You guys have a lot more money than the left-wing media space. We just try to combat it a little bit. I think the issue with that, I can understand why you'd say that, but it looks like this, this is a great way to kick off the show, actually, yeah. like the start of the culture mm -hmm. um, I actually don't think the whatever this space has more money because this is a fractured independent space of varying ideologies. Tim, I'm in your compound right now. Yeah, I'm rich. What is I that, live what in a one mean? bedroom. I mean, how did you get rich? I started a website, took memberships. I give all of you permission to call me. If I ever, ever, ever come out on these platforms and pretend that I'm poor, I give you full permission. Blood, crip, non-affiliated, whoever you are. If I ever come out on some and I'm like, I'm not that wealthy. I only live in a two-bedroom apartment. Like, God, it is so cringe when, like, People have families, like eight, nine figure net worth, and they come onto these shows. I hate leftists that do this. It is so cringe. It is so cringe when people do this. What was the, what was the monthly, or I'm sorry, what was the yearly tuition of the grade school she went to? Was it 40K? I, I forget. Somebody remember? Was it 40,000 a year for her seventh and eighth grade? Like out here like, I live in a one bedroom. I live, I, I live in a one bedroom. God, it's so cringe. I hate it. Sold ads on videos? Yeah, but the, but the reason that you get ads and that we don't is because you more adequately serve capitalism and we challenge it. I, I don't, let me get a Red Bull. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch this. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to watch it. I don't know if I'll be able to watch it. If you're not running ads on your channel, that's your fault. Because you serve capitalism, like, bro, I get we we get our ads pulled. What do you mean? There's there's whole organizations dedicated to getting our all of our ads removed. Right, but the proof is in the pudding, and where I'm sitting yeah, we, right now. So, so the this proof is in the pudding, and that they've built out an incredibly f popular show. What do you think that the only re why is my game lagging? This is memberships. This okay. is almost entirely because people pay to become members of our websites. Uh, you know, if if. Uh, the majority report, they, they, you guys have been around a lot longer than I have. Mm -hmm. The inability to uh, provide a, a, a product to a customer does not mean that one political faction has more. Oh, Jesus. The majority report is just nowhere near as popular as I thought it was. It's actually so... She's doing the thing. This is why I'm saying you got to be really careful when you identify with groups. Like, her inability to take responsibility for their popularity or lack thereof... Um, these guys only have 870 patrons? I thought these guys would be making like over 100K a month easy on Patreon. 15,000 views over the last 30 days. I wonder if they do, um, if they've just been doing shorts or something. They take subs to their own app. What about YouTube members though? I don't know. Bro, I, bro, <laughs> what? Why is my game crashing? I wasn't even doing anything. Or, or is grit granted more because of capitalism or anything like that? Like if Sam is unable to, I mean, Sam's had way more subscribers than me for a long, long time. Right, right. And he's been, and he just like hit, and I'm not saying this to be like mean. I'm saying if he doesn't know how to turn revenue, the issue is more so you need like a COO or somebody who's gonna say, here's how we provide something to uh, a market that generates revenue so we can expand our business. So we're, we're uh, better at that here, I suppose, is the easiest way to put well, it. Well, no, because what you say here is more attractive to investors and advertisers. I mean, we're basically we only- I, I hate her. Never, ever, 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 never. Are you gonna be sitting in a room trying to close a deal with a sponsor or an affiliate? And they're like, well, do you support capitalism? We don't, we don't want to sponsor you guys if you're anti-capitalist. Nobody gives a f I want to know what meeting. I want to know what sponsor Emma was sitting in a meeting on where they're like, oh my God, we were so close to closing this deal with Logitech. And then the CEO comes in and he's like, aren't you guys anti-capitalist? Your entire ideology threatens the paradigm through which we function. Our entire business model will collapse if your political project is successful. We're going to have to pull the plug on this deal. Like, come on, give me a break no shot dude what is this is the most cope answer in the world only members and okay well other right-wing media like the daily wire and stuff like that and even what i'm looking at the rumble 
uh, uh, what I don't know, what do you call that? Uh, yeah, and look at the difference in quality between what Rumble has to serve for ads versus what Google AdSense gets to serve for ads. The idea that like when you go farther right, you get more access to advertisers, it's just not true. And they have sponsors anyway, or Audible. Jeez, they've got like 20 sponsors. They probably just don't get any money from these guys. Logo right there. Looks like a rectangle. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a David Sachs. That's a venture capital backed venture, I believe. Um, <laughs> I'm so, my game crashed again, why? At the very least, Peter Thiel is involved. It's a venture capital backed venture, I believe. Um, at the very least, Peter Thiel is involved and invested. Oh, yeah. There's no equivalent on the left. Why would- What? You! I'm sorry, bro. Every single thing she says is wrong and stupid. Why does she think that VC is in control of talent acquisition at the company? Like, can you just, let's just, can we just like back up and just think for a moment, like reasonably speaking, like what would that conversation look like? Like somebody that owns like five or 10% of your business is like calling the CEO, hey, listen up. Um, so I'm gonna invest in your company. Now, I know you're the CEO, and I know that you guys like run everything the way that you do, um, but I just want to reach out to you, and I want to make sure that you understand that since I bought some of your company, I don't care who you're trying to acquire for talent that makes your website better. I actually don't care about that at all. Make sure that when you guys do talent acquisition, you're publicly traded, by the way, so that, this might even be like breaking fiduciary uh, responsibility, but regardless, for talent acquisition, can you guys just like try to grab guys that are like ideological with us? Make sure they're pro-capitalist so that they don't take down our system. Um, and yeah, just make like, what would this conversation even look like? Like, it's such a hilarious, like, I feel like I'm listening to, um, what was that one math dude that I debated on stage over um, ESG scores? I feel like you just shouldn't be allowed to talk about finance if you don't even know how to like run a business that's ever had an external investor before or outside investment. Like, um, it's just such a hilarious, oh, James Lindsay. Yeah, it's just such a, it's like when conservatives complain about ESG scores. Um, oh my God, f me, f me. Why don't you be able not. to get advertisers if like David Pakman and the Young Turks have advertisers? Your content's not like too We do dissimilar. have advertisers. We just have, you know, advertisers that are a, a little bit more within our system of values. And we're trying to combat corporate greed. We do Isn't Audible owned by Amazon? <laughs> what? And also, okay, Emma, now you're giving a totally different answer. Before you were saying that nobody wanted to sponsor you because you were left wing. Now you're saying you you explicitly choose sponsors that align with you ideologically. That's a far different claim than what you made before. Liquid IV is a non and non GMO electrolyte drink mix vegan. What is this sentence? Liquid Audible is owned by Amazon, by the way. Okay, sorry. Within our system, you know, advertisers that are. A, a little bit more within our system of values and we're trying to combat wait did i restart my computer did all my windows just open again automatically or did i just turn off my oh i didn't restart i just turned off my thing okay 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 that corporate like too we do dissimilar. have advertisers we just have you know advertisers that are a, a little bit more within our system of values. And we're trying to combat corporate greed. We don't have a ton of advertisers that I think align with uh, leftist, or we have advertisers that we try to include in terms of like uh, leftist values as well. But just by the nature of left versus right, it's asymmetrical warfare. But, but, you guys but, are but honestly, you Sam should just put but, the, You're put passing those DMs on advertisers that don't align with your values, so. Yeah. Like you have but we do those the same options. thing. We do yes. literally the same. We have like four advertisers. We have right. Like four. Right. Okay. So the, our website has no advertisers, and it's almost entirely membership funded. Yeah. So I mean, look. Everything we, here is because people give us ten bucks a month. It, we're really trying to cover politics on our program, and I think that that's what uh, is like. Our <laughs> <laughs> what the f was that pivot? Central focus. I mean, why well, make about, a video about me and music? Well, I mean, it was a little fun because it was kind of funny. But I mean, Sam comes from a comedy background as well. I would say that I think you misrepresent what our show actually does. The first hour, the free hour of our program before we go to the membership portion is one that we literally have experts on, on social security, on international politics. Wait, what? The free hour of our program before we go to the membership portion is one that we literally have experts on, on social security, on international politics. It's not honestly something that is conducive to it's it's dry it's not conducive necessarily to a ton of capital investment or advertisers um and right, we're trying so what, what, it, 
dry. It just, it's boring. That's what you mean to say, it's boring. The reason why it's not conducive to advertising is because you don't have people watching, because it's boring. It has nothing to do with the, the subject matter. I mean, like, you can make stuff exciting if you want, and you can make, and stuff can be boring, but like, I, I mean, I don't necessarily disagree, but isn't it kind of on you to make it entertaining, to increase viewership? Like, none of this has to do with people avoiding your program because you're leftist. It's just because you're saying you make boring content. Which is fine, by the way. Some of the stuff that I do that I feel passionate about, especially if we're like reading papers, it's really f boring. Uh, and I understand that. I get lower viewership because of that. But I'm not going to say, but I could make some of that more exciting if I wanted to, like doing debates on a thing versus just like reading a paper about it, right? But we don't make we don't a difference in the world. We don't have investment or sure. we have like four advertisers. Actually, we have zero advertisers. So we got rid of them all. Okay. So we, we ended all of our advertisers. Uh, that, uh, to be fair, on the podcast version of things, I think we have like six. On the YouTube side of things, we've actually gotten rid of all advertisements. So it, now it's just like whatever YouTube does, they do. Right. And then we started our, we're starting our own companies. The reason we, start, we started our own coffee company, it's because, I'm, I'm not going to say the name of this person, but there are organizations that lie in order to get our ads pulled. And so that's happened to us. Uh, one example is that there is, uh, well, I don't get into too much of it, but I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.